Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I am here with kind of a different sort of review. Today I will be reviewing Book of Enchantments, Ten Tales of Wonder by Patricia C. Reed. And the reason this is kind of unusual is this is a short story collection. I have never reviewed a short story collection on this channel, and that's kind of because I don't read a lot of them, and when I do, I don't usually enjoy them. Just that kind of short format doesn't really work for me usually, but this is one that I just reread this month for the Book 2 Rereadathon, and I love this. So I really wanted to give some very quick thoughts on each particular story because I don't tend to review the stories individually when I talk about collections in a wrap-up, but I really wanted to do that for this one because this is one of my favorite short story collections I've ever read, like in the top two. So I'm just gonna go down the list of stories and give very brief kind of bite-sized reviews or thoughts or reasons I recommend them. The first story is called Rikiki and the Wizard, and I ended up giving this one four stars. It was a lot of fun. It felt very much like a folktale story, like something that you can imagine reading in a collected like book of stories, and it was really funny, really clever. I enjoyed the characters, and I highly recommend that one. Next is The Princess, the Cat, and the Unicorn, and this is another one that I gave four stars to. If you love subversive fairy tale tropes, kind of turning them on its head, or even just fantasy tropes in general, you would love this story. It's so funny, so clever, it's so, in, in a weird way it's like very believable. The next one is called Roses by Moonlight and this was such an interesting concept for a story. I really love how much this story always makes me think and how much it makes me consider what I would do in a particular situation. I only ended up giving this one 3.5 stars because there, there are some things about the ending that I really don't like but I can respect the author for doing them. And this is one that's just like, even if you don't love it, you're probably going to think about it a lot, and I think that that is something that is worthwhile as well. The next story is The 62 Curses of Khalif Arinshad, and I give this one four stars again. This is such a great blend of, again, humor. Patricia C. Reed is just a very clever and witty and funny writer, so there's, there's that kind of humor and lightheartedness. But there's also this undercurrent of darkness that I think comes up in a lot of her stories, but this one is really interesting in the way that it places that with kind of the whimsy and the magic of the story as you start reading it. And I also want to give kind of a shout out or a mention to the like the imagery and the descriptions in the story because there are a couple of scenes that it's really important I think to make the reader feel like part of them. I don't know if that makes sense and I think that she did a fantastic job with that. The next story is Earthwitch and I actually remembered I remembered some things about this one from when I read this collection years ago and I remembered it as one of my least favorite stories, and I actually, I enjoyed and appreciated it a lot more this time around. I think I ended up giving it 3.75 stars. It didn't quite hit 4 stars for me, but this one is definitely one of the darker uh, in tone stories, but I really, really love the fantastically complex uh, characters and the way that you get such a sense of who they are and a sense of their backstory and their history with each other and with um, kind of the rest of the world and everything in such a short amount of time, and that goes for all of the stories in this collection. I think that one of the reasons I really like Patricia C. Reed's short stories is because she is able to create a world and create characters that you care about so quickly, because that's something that I normally, I think, have a hard time with in when I, when I read short stories. But this one is definitely, as I said, kind of dark and strange, and I do, like all of these stories, I do still recommend reading it because it's very unusual even though there are some aspects of it that feel like a very kind of classic fantasy story. It kind of, it does some things I don't expect. Next is The Sword Seller and I gave this one three stars. It's actually my least favorite story in the collection. I feel like this one is kind of eh, a little bit standard fantasy, which you know of course fantasy is one of my favorite genres so I don't mean that in a derogatory way to the entire genre, but it doesn't feel as unusual or as unique, I guess. It doesn't feel as unique as some of the other stories in this collection. I do think that the ending is more unique, even if it is pretty confusing, at least the first time you read it. I'm not necessarily saying skip it. I think it. this one is going to really depend on what you're looking for in a, in a short story. And then we get into a string of just my favorite stories in the whole collection. Because next we have The Lorelei, and this is a very, very atmospheric and eerie kind of story. It's It's got this great blend of kind of this magical fantastical world smashed up right up against our world and how that can cause problems. I feel like this is such a great like autumn slash winter feeling story, definitely more winter I think, 
but you can read it anytime, obviously, and, and I love how it ended. I just, I loved everything about this one, honestly. Like, I think this is the perfect example of a short story done well because it tells, it, it tells a whole, whole story in a fulfilling way and in a satisfying way and an interesting way. I think about this one a lot. I think if you like folklore and fairy tale or kind of stories that are, that blur the line between fantasy and reality, I think you would love this one. But honestly, I would recommend it for everyone because I think that it's it's got so much going for it that even if you don't read a particular genre usually, I think you would enjoy it. Next is Stronger Than Time, and this is another one that I gave five stars to. This is kind of a Sleeping Beauty inspired story. I think it's a sadder, more melancholy take on it. It's very... this is another one that is very atmospheric and just I can picture the setting and everything just so well. And this is one that I remembered from when I read this years and years ago. I remembered this story and I remember how much I loved it. And I remembered specific lines even from this story and it just left such an impression on me. And this is, again, one of my favorites in the collection. Highly recommend for everybody. Next is Cruel Sisters and this is three for three. We've got another five stars here and this is so dark. If you know the fairy tale, what, what's it called? The Harp, Harp of Bone or something like that. This is a version of that, and I think it uses that atmosphere and that tone and that darkness, but it also, as Patricia C. Reed does, she also puts such a creative spin on it. I love that the writing in this one is, is sort of, it makes you feel like it's an old story someone's telling you, but it still feels very immediate because it is first person, and this one is just so, so dark, and it's one of the ones where you can come up with so many different conclusions about what the story means or about what happened in it and rather rather than feeling incomplete I think that's one of the things that makes this story so good and yeah again loved this one and finally the last short story is Utensil Strength and I gave this one 3.5 possibly 4 stars this has the characters from the Enchanted Forest Chronicles whom I love so much the only thing that I didn't really love about this one is it felt like there wasn't quite enough there. I think I enjoyed it because I love the characters and I love the world, but I don't think this one stands as its own story quite as well as some of the others. They also include the quick after battle triple chocolate cake recipe from that story, so that's really fun. And then I also <laughs> I also rated on Goodreads with a status update. I rated the notes from the author. I gave them five stars because they were so interesting and so well written. It was so cool seeing where she got her ideas and seeing how this collection came together. And it was so, so interesting to see the inspirations for some of these stories, especially for some of my favorites. She was describing the inspiration for Stronger Than Time, which is that Sleeping Beauty story that I mentioned. She went to England and Wales and she visited the ruins of Harlech Castle. And she saw the ruined castle and she thought to herself, this is what Sleeping Beauty's castle would have looked like if the prince had never come. And like that's just such such an amazingly concrete visual and I feel like that tone is just done so well in the story and anyway just basically I guess what I'm trying to say is read the author's notes if you read this collection because they're so cool. She really does talk about like when you're a writer ideas come from anywhere and from everywhere and some things you just sit down and write in, in like one hour you know like a short story just comes to you in a bolt of inspiration. Sometimes it takes years and you keep revising it so I thought that was really interesting. Even though I am not myself a writer I think that would be another cool element. So those are all of my mini reviews. I do want to touch on some of the things that I found across all of the stories in this collection that made me love it so much. I love the creativity, I love the variety of stories. Well, of course all of them would be considered fantasy or they have fantastical elements. I just love how she really took that and ran with it. You know, she Patricia C. Reed did so many different kinds of fantasy, which is one of the things I love about the genre is that there's so much cre creativity there, there's so much range, and she really took full advantage of that. I also love how different her writing style could feel depending on the story she was telling. She's just a, a master of the short story format, I think. I don't know if she has written other short story collections, but I'm definitely going to look into them because as I mentioned earlier, she was just, she's so good at, at not just grabbing you from the beginning of a short story, but sustaining that interest and really just telling a complete story and you, you're satisfied, you know, you finish it and it's like, even though there's a couple where it's like, okay, I would read a longer story or even a book, like a whole novel about this, you still feel like you got the complete picture. And I just, gosh, I just love this collection so much and I can't believe that I had considered unhauling it before this because I genuinely didn't remember how much I loved it. I just think it was so impressive that 
I was able to connect so quickly to the characters in these stories that they felt fully developed, that you really felt like you got a sense of the greater world in these stories, you know, like the world building and the side characters and other elements of the story. It felt like there was a fully realized and developed world in the background of these very small stories, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, as you guys can tell, I love this, this collection so much. I only had one story that I rated less than a 3.5 stars and I had so many four stars. I had three five star short stories, which I don't think that has ever happened before. And I just, I love this so much. I would love to know if you guys have read this collection, what you thought, or if you're planning to read it. I obviously <laughs> highly recommend it. I think even if, or especially if you are not normally a fan of the short story format, so, you know, like myself, I would really recommend this. As a whole, I gave this collection four stars, but I'm wondering if it would even be more like 4.5 stars because there were just, there were so many high ratings in, in this collection and I'm still just really excited about some of these stories and they definitely stick with me because as I keep saying throughout this video, I remembered some of them from years ago. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!